Welcome to another edition of One Pocket, the Game of Controlled Aggression. I'm Tom Worth. In today's video, I will show you three examples of off-angle kick shots with very predictable cue ball control. Try not to focus too much attention on what the object ball does. The importance of these shots lays in how the cue ball reacts. In each of these three examples, our pocket is to the lower left. Notice the diagonal string of balls facing our opponent's pocket. This I call the catcher's bit. And this is where I intend sending the cue ball. Can you see how I plan to do that? Much of this game is about clearly analyzing what we see and then, with practice, learning how to execute a solid plan. Due to the position of the cue ball, I knew in advance that the cue ball would ticky towards the catcher's bit without the need of any English. This next example looks to be more precarious. Our opponent has several balls very near his pocket. What's also different about this situation is the position of the cue ball. Because the cue ball is further from his side rail, the ticky on the fly ball will hold the cue ball a bit closer to that same rail. The 1 and 14 should hold the cue ball from escaping up table. Again, no English is required on this shot. However, if you wish to put a little bit of right hand English on it, it wouldn't hurt. In this third example, our opponent has a ball hanging in his hole, and we have no open shots to our pocket or any clear path to remove his hanging ball. The answer, once again, lays in the ticky on the fly ball. Now, with the cue ball on a severe angle into the rail behind the five, the cue ball will hug the rail and slide down into the hanging three ball. Once again, no English is required on this shot. However, if you wish to put a touch of right, that won't hurt. This has been Tom Worth for One Pocket, a game of controlled aggression. I thank you for watching and happy One Pocket. Ah!